Good afternoon, I'm Bob Holliday, president of the Tallahassee Historical Society, and with me is Dr. Barbara Maddock, uh, public historian emeritus, I think I should say, from the Division of Historic Resources. And Barbara is our speaker at our December 14th meeting, our Christmas meeting, our Christmas meeting, which includes food, turkey and all sorts of stuff, and people bringing sides and so forth at, at, at Mission San Luis. Um, uh, Barbara's topic, it's got a wonderful title, it's called, uh, it's called Papists and Heretics, and it, it's, it's really, it's from a book that she has published here, Teaching in Black and White, The Sisters of St. Joseph, and they were a Catholic uh, uh, group who came from France at the end of, end of the Civil War. Barbara, why should we remember, why should we remember the Sisters of, of St. Joseph? Well, the Sisters of St. Joseph, these Catholic sisters, were actually the first uh, set of uh, missionaries sent out from Le Puy, France, where they originated in 1650. And uh, the order was still there and still is there now. And they uh, were recruited by a, a Catholic bishop, Augustin Verreau, to minister to the newly freed slaves. And it's interesting that he had been a, uh, one of the most outspoken supporters of the South during the Civil War. But in the midst of all that, he had a real heart for right. the welfare of the slaves. And he spoke uh, very eloquently in their defense and how they should be treated. He didn't come against slavery, but he was said it should not be um, abused. And uh, so he recruited eight sisters to come, 1866, and uh, that was the beginning of uh, the order, the mother house, still is in St. Augustine. So they're still they're yes. still around today yes. in St. Augustine. And very active along the same lines, right? Uh, ministering to the, the black and the poor. Now, reading your book, one, many things, you know, st you know, stuck out to me, but one of the things that stuck out to me was that the existing Protestant hierarchy in Florida, i.e. the Episcopalians, were not particularly pleased about, about these papists showing up. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, at that time, Episcopalians were very much at the uh, Protestant end of the spectrum, and that wasn't really till the Oxford movement right. around 1900 that the Catholic roots were appreciated and out. So they were among those who were complaining about the sisters and uh, doing their best to thwart their efforts. And so, yeah. I mean, there, so. there are deep roots in Florida to uh, Protestants versus Catholics all the way back to the 1500s. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I think uh, one of the most uh, graphic ones at this moment is right now there is a cause for the... Um, sainthood being made of the martyrs of Florida yeah, with yeah. The, when the British came yeah, uh, and yeah. marching through and destroying the missions and because it was all part of that colonial warfare. Do we have any count at all of, of how many blacks or ex-slaves the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the teachers, the sisters touched, taught or anything? Do we? Well, I have figures. There were about 500, over, a little over 500 when they first came. Uh, the Catholics, even though um, St. Augustine was under American, uh, in the American territory in 1821, by 1866 it was a state, but even so, uh, three quarters of the population of St. Augustine was still Catholic. Wow. And if, if the slaves followed whatever their master was. was. There a, was there a Tallahassee connection here at all? I mean... Well, not with this specific question. The... the um, the heretics, quote, heretics, that we're speaking of are actually members of the American Missionary Association. Right. And that was a, a missionary organization that came to be in the 1840s, eventually part of the uh, abolition movement. And they were, um, by, the, by 1866, they were primarily a congregationalist group, and they were very similar to the sisters. Uh, they were young women who were teachers, uh, but they they did have a very much of a, a missionary uh, right. calling, 
And they were both, both his sisters and the uh, AMA, so it's called, uh, were concerned about the welfare of the black people. And um, they just came at it from different ends of, I say, the, the religious spectrum at the time. One from ultra Protestant and the other from ultra Catholic. Thank you, Barbara, very much. We are looking forward to December the 14th out at Mission San Luis. This is, it's a, I think, a very special Christmas program, and we hope that everyone will come and join us.